Welcome to CES! Are you excited to be in Las Vegas? Do you like my jacket? Here it is. Our brand new GeForce RTX 50 series Blackwell architecture. The GPU is just a beast. 92 billion transistors, 4,000 tops, four petaflops of AI, three times higher than the last generation ADA. And we need all of it to generate those pixels that I showed you. Okay, so this is, this is uh, the brand new RTX Blackwell 5090. Now, even, even, the, even the mechanical design is a miracle. Look at this, it's got two fans. This whole graphics card is just one giant fan. You know, so the question is, where's the graphics card? Is it literally this big? The voltage regulator design is state-of-the-art, incredible design. The engineering team did a great job. Well, this is RTX 4090. I know, I know many of you have one. I know it. Look, it's $1,599. It is one of the best investments you could possibly make. You, for $1,599, you bring it home to your $10,000 PC Entertainment Command Center. Isn't that right? Don't tell me that's not true. Don't be ashamed. It's liquid-cooled, fancy lights all over it. You lock it when you leave. It's, it's the modern home theater. It makes perfect sense. And now for $1,599, $1599, you get to upgrade that and turbocharge the living daylights out of it. Well, now with the Blackwell family, RTX 5070, 4090 performance at 549. Impossible without artificial intelligence. Impossible without the four tops, four terops of AI tensor cores. Impossible without the G7 memories. Okay, so 5070, 4090 performance, $549, and here's the whole family. Starting from 5070 all the way up to 5090. 5090, twice the performance of a 4090. Starting... Of course, we're producing at very large scale availability starting January. The next example, autonomous vehicles. The AV revolution has arrived. After so many years with Waymo's success and Tesla's success, it is very, very clear autonomous vehicles has finally arrived. Well, our offering to this industry is the three computers, the training systems to train the AIs, the simulation systems, and and the, and the synthetic data generation systems, Omniverse, and now Cosmos, and also the computer that's inside the car. Each car company might, might work with us in a different way, use one or two or three of the computers. We're working with just about every major car company around the world, Waymo and Zooks and Tesla, of course, in their data center, BYD, uh, the largest uh, EV company in the world, JLR's got a really cool car coming, Mercedes, because a fleet of cars coming with NVIDIA starting, with this, starting this year going to production. And I'm super, super pleased to announce that today, Toyota and NVIDIA are going to partner together to create their next generation AVs. Just so many, so many cool companies, uh, Lucid and Rivian and Xiaomi and of course, uh, Volvo, just so many different companies. Wabi is uh, building uh, self-driving trucks. Aurora, uh, we announced this week also that Aurora is going to use NVIDIA to build self-driving trucks. Autonomous, every, 100 million cars built each year, a, a billion cars, vehicles on the road all over the world, a trillion miles that are driven around the world each year. That's all going to be either highly autonomous or, you know, fully autonomous coming up. And so this is going to be a very, very large industry. 
I predict that this will likely be the first multi-trillion dollar robotics industry. This, indus this business for us, um, notice in just, just a few uh, of these cars that are starting to ramp into the world, uh, our business is already $4 billion, and this year, probably on a run rate of about $5 billion. So really significant business already. This is going to be very large. Well, today we're announcing that our next generation processor for the car, our next generation computer for the car is called Thor. I have one right here. Hang on a second. Okay, this is Thor. This is Thor. This is, this is a robotics computer. This is a robotics computer. It takes sensors and just a madness amount of sensor information. Process it, you know, umpteen cameras, high resolution, radars, LIDARs, they're all coming into this chip. And this chip has to process all that sensor, turn them into tokens, put them into a transformer, and predict the next path. And this AV computer is now in full production. Thor is 20 times the processing capability of our last generation Orin, which is really the standard of autonomous vehicles today. DGX-1 revolutionized uh, artificial intelligence. The reason why we built it was because we wanted to uh, make it possible for researchers and startups to have an out-of-the-box AI supercomputer. Imagine the way supercomputers were built in the past. You really have to uh, build your own facility and you have to go build your own infrastructure and really engineer it into existence. And so we created a supercomputer for AI, for AI development for researchers and, and startups that comes literally one out of the box. I delivered the first one to a startup company in 2016 called OpenAI, and Elon was there, and, and Ilya Suskover was there, and uh, many of the NVIDIA engineers were there, and, and um, uh, we, we celebrated the arrival of DGX1, and it, obviously uh, it revolutionized uh, artificial intelligence and computing. Um, but now artificial intelligence is everywhere. It's not just in researchers and, and, and startup labs. You know, we want artificial intelligence, as I mentioned in the beginning of our talk, this is now the new way of doing computing. This is the new way of doing software. Every software engineer, every engineer, every creative artist, everybody who uses computers today as a tool will need an AI supercomputer. And so I just, wished, I just wish that DGX1 was smaller. And, um, you know, so, so um, you know, imagine, ladies and gentlemen, our, this is NVIDIA's latest AI supercomputer. And, and it's finally called Project Digits right now. And if you have a good name for it, uh, reach out to us. Um, uh, this, here's the amazing thing. This is an AI supercomputer. It runs the entire NVIDIA AI stack. All of NVIDIA software runs on this. DGX Cloud runs on this. This sits, well, somewhere, and it's wireless or, you know, connected to your computer. It's even a workstation if you like it to be. And you could access it, you could, you could reach it like a, like a cloud supercomputer, and NVIDIA's AI works on it. And um, it's based on a, a super secret chip that we've been working on called GB110, the smallest Grace Blackwell that we make. And I have, well, you know what, let's show, let's show everybody inside. Isn't this just, isn't just, it's just so cute. And this is the chip that's inside. It is in, it is in production. This top secret chip uh, we did in collaboration, the CPU, the gray CPU, was a, uh, is built for NVIDIA in collaboration with MediaTek. Uh, they're the world's leading SOC company, and they worked with us to build this CPU, this CPU SOC. 
and connect it with chip-to-chip NVLink to the Blackwell GPU. And uh, this, little, this little thing here is in full production. Uh, we're expecting this computer to uh, be available uh, around May timeframe. And so it's coming at you.